people assume Willie would go around saying, say hey, say hey. Um, in fact, Willie never used that phrase. When Willie was a, a rookie, he had this kind of verbal tick which he, which he developed in, in the South, where in the South you didn't say hello so much as you would say hey. And so Willie would go around saying hey a lot. Willie was also terrible with names, so he would always say, instead of addressing someone by his or her name, he would just say, hey you, or hey, how you doing? So a sports writer at the time called him the say hey kid. We could, literally, he did <laughs> say hey, and he was a kid. And it was really the perfect nickname for him not just because it was pithy and catchy, but it captured Willie's personality. Willie, um, particularly when he was young, was this very exuberant, outgoing, you know, smiling kid. And the Say Hey Kid just captured that kind of enthusiasm. And it stuck with him for his, not just his entire career, but to this day, when he is introduced in front of audiences, uh, he will still be introduced as the Say Hey Kid. How did he come to use the basket catch? It was something that he learned when he was in, in the Army, actually, where he, he played for the, the baseball team with his fort, and one of the, the guys who was on his team showed him how to catch the ball in that fashion. Willie loved it, in part because he thought it may give him a slight edge in being able to um, get to the ball more quickly when he had to throw it, when, you know, when he was trying to throw a, a runner out who was tagging up. But the real reason Willie really loved the basket catch is that Willie was a showman, first and foremost. He thought his job was to entertain the fans. And the basket catch was different than the way everyone else caught it. At first when you saw him do it, you might think he was going to drop it because everyone caught the ball conventionally up here. Mm -hmm. Now it was down here and the fans would gasp thinking that he was going to drop it. But it was just a way for Willie to put his own uh, stylistic imprimatur on the way he played the game, particularly the way he played the outfield, the way he ran, the way he threw, the way he cut. He wanted to be distinctive. He wanted to be like a jazz musician who would create his own unique riffs that would um, stand him apart from the masses. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.